Yo, what's up? What's up, my people? This is Jay again, guys. Yeah, so today we are about to trade NFP. As you can see, uh, I will sell gold. The gold is gonna shoot down. Why am I saying this? You can see that already gold have managed to to break trend line and uptrend trend line and now playing down beside that if you can see market have managed to give a strong resistance which is this and it managed also to break previous support so which gives us a confidence of selling gold uh, the second thing if you will go if you will check exactly from 15 minute time frame let me change time frame you will clear zoom out and you will see that now market have managed to give a first bearish cross and when it goes down it uh this bearish haram it gives us bearish haram and it created down trend trend line and it gives us bearish cross so from there now it's telling us that we have to to sell because it have attacked the previous uh previous uh supporter it's it managed to break it down so this is give us giving us a confidence of saying that we have to sell as well you can see our second strategy that shows us trend it's managed to break level eight and it's going down so we have nothing else to do we're not gonna waste the time we're gonna go ahead and sell so it is our time to make money guys it's about 14 minutes left for us to sell gold so let's wait and see what's gonna happen myself i will sell with this hundred um thousand uh south african land do you remember i made this yesterday where I made 68,000 from 38 and something. I took it from to 38,207. So I'm going to double this account here or I'm going to blow this account. So let's wait and see what's going to happen. I don't know what you are doing, what you are planning, wherever you are, but myself, um, I'm going to sell this gold and i'm going to make money so stay with me and see um what's going to be next yo my people is there again guys it is time now to say this is my zar account what i'm going to do i'm going to use a big lot size as possible because oh uh, shit i just wanted to say god as much as i can today is me and Zar account so but i managed to use risk management 0, 0,50 i think is enough if i have to bro then i will bro if i have to kill it then i will kill it so let's see what's going to happen guys let's see let's see wait and see what is going to happen wait and see what is going to happen it's about few seconds it's about few seconds let's go let's go let's see let's see let's see what's going to happen maybe it may Maybe double spike, I don't know. Come on, yes, this whatever. Come on, gold, come on, gold. Come on, gold, come on, gold. Come on, gold. Uh, I said it that we do a double spike, guys.
But I'm not going to close it no matter what because I trust my trend. I will let it go and I'm sure it will come up and I'm gonna close with the big bucks today. So it's me against Zal and NFP today. Yo my people, what's up? What's up this day again? As as I said, as I told you that I'm not going to close. You can see what it happened. So Always, um, or I'm always telling you guys, when it comes to trade news, just trade direction, you know, just trade the direction. Uh, if it's a, it's, it's a matter of uh, the small account, make sure you have the account that you can trade with a small lot size and you can hold manipulation. So as you see, as you saw, as I said that, um, double spike may happen that's what happened it went down and it went up but i said to myself that i'm not gonna cross this because i analyzed the market before news starts and i i, I found out that <clears throat> uh good is gonna go down down that's gonna make me make some good money so it was a matter of making it when it sparked down. It was going to just go down. But it sparked down within a minute, within a second, then it went up. But I knew, I knew that um, this is happening because of uh, what they planned to do. But the direction is still downtrend and a strong downtrend. So now, after holding my breath and let a uh, market market makers do what they want you can clearly see that market manager to come back to its direction <clears throat> this is where we trade the news from it went down and it went up after that it had to come back down to its direction because there was no way market was gonna just uh i mean gold was gonna just buy and keep on going up after giving us all of the signs that I told you about, uh, there was no way, there was no way. So I just managed to hold it and let it go where it went. And when it comes back, you can see after breaking the, this uh, or support that I was telling you about, now you can see what happened is still going up so it's still going down i mean so clearly when you go to four, four hours time frame you will understand what i am talking about so myself i'm going to hold this until to the certain level that i told you about once uh it touches here i'm sure that this will be on 200,000. This is my target, guys, you know. Remember, uh, I flipped this from 38K to 207K. So from here now, we're holding 100, 171K. What I'm looking for is 200K, then I'm done with the market. 200, then I'm done with the market. I will then uh, withdraw all of the money and I will just start with 10,000 rent. 10,000 rent. That, that's the money that I will start with again. The same way I started with, um, I think was 5,000. So guys, when it comes to trade, you need to have a strong heart. That's the first thing that you must have. Secondly, you must trust in what you do. You must trust your analysis. If is you who analyzed, if is you who analyzed, you must uh, trust what you did. Because even if market will go against you, if you are at the analyze, you will end up understanding where you have made a mistake, right? That's why I do or uh, decide to hold in difficult times. You know when you see um your hundred k going back minus maybe thirty thousand k. Uh, if you are not strong enough, you will be like no, let me cross this. At least I can save seven k. But if you know what you are doing, you will be like no. 
if it if i'm going to blow this then let let me blow this then i will learn i will realize that i made a mistake somewhere else and then from there i will learn next time it won't happen but from what i did for the time i have or uh, invested analyzing this i know and they trust my analysis i will hold this until uh, my last breath so as you can see market manager to shoot up uh, and breaks uh market pretended it didn't break this it pretended to break this strong resistance and when it was up here it just comes back and it's confirmed immediately with the strongest candlesticks and then it just goes down so guys now what i'm waiting for is 200k as you can and you can see that uh only 12,000 left so we're waiting for 12,000 12, only and then we can just cross peacefully this account will um uh, uh we start again monday with 10,000 or 5,000 and then we start again with this account I will show you the same account and then we start growing this again together so guys what I can say is that trade with a strong heart and trade what you know trade what you see not what you think so here is about 2,000 we have 2,000 you can see now we have 200,000 here on the table guys we are closing we are closing i know it's gonna go down more than that but let's do this let's not be greedy this is a wow right on today nfp of today have managed to give me 100k so thank you for your time guys if you didn't make money just um Oh, just stay stronger don't feel discouraged no just uh courage yourself keep on pushing learn every day and stick on your strategy and make sure learn a lot of books if you don't have come to me i'll give you some books to read and one day you'll be like me you'll be trading confidently like me so enjoy your weekend guys jay loves you all and next week we are starting a challenge we called 50 usd to 1k usd usd so 50 50 usd to 1k usd uh it's it's it's, it's a challenge where we start with the small money if you have big money then it's okay but uh, someone who doesn't have a big capital can start with the small as 50 usd and we make sure we take this 50 usd to 1k into one week we use one week so which means uh 500 usd can be taken to 10k the same thing 5k 5k can be taken to 100k so this is a challenge so see you next time guys see you next week enjoy your weekend ahead